Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, what is, oh, God. oh geez, like the thing. What's going on? I knew that was gonna happen too and I let it. You've heard of bowling for soup, but have you ever bowled for pasta, Trevor? No. Why don't you ever take me bowling for pasta anymore? <laughs> I don't understand the question. All right, so in 2009, Domino's introduced the three cheese mac and cheese bread bowl on top of their already bread and cheese heavy menu, but it was discontinued shortly thereafter. Was that carbohydrate chimera gone too soon? It's time for past food. Trevor, you were alive in 2009, that's correct? Yes, that is correct. How much do you remember about the economic recession? Uh, uh, this is going somewhere, you, you watch. Uh, not much, but enlighten me. Housing market crashed in 2008, this comes out in 2009. It is shockingly not a coincidence because this was to compete with Pizza Hut's $5 pastas. When the housing market crashed, people were spending less money at fast food restaurants. So you saw places like Pizza Hut and Domino's, they actually hit a huge revenue decline because people weren't buying big ticket items. And then places like Taco Bell and McDonald's with value menus actually rose up. So all the pizza places, they had to figure out how to create a value menu with more personal items yeah. that appealed to people. That's why they came out with these $5 pasta bread bowls. It was like okay. an individual item you probably share with another person because they're 1600 calories a pop. So this is a three cheese penne mac and cheese bread bowl. It was mozzarella, white cheddar, and yellow cheddar, which they, they no longer have the white cheddar at Domino's, so we're oh. not using that. I am convinced because I ate this originally. Yeah. It was soupy. I mean, it was literally like a, it was almost like a bowl of queso with yeah. eight penne noodles thrown into it. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we have cheesy jalapeno dip, not from the Domino's, but from the Little Caesars because Domino's used to have cheddar dip and some of them still do, but the one by us does not. So we went to Little Caesars who has always been there for us in times of need. Yeah. They were recession proof, baby. $5 pizzas, what a time to be alive. So we're using that. We got the Alfredo sauce from Domino's. We got okay. the penne from Domino's. And then uh, we're gonna make our own dough from scratch. And uh, this is our secret ingredient. What is this? Domino's pizza dough. It is so delicious because it's got a bunch of fake butter flavor in it. So this is just soybean oil and fake butter flavor. So I figured we could dump that in there. Are we just using this in place of normal oil? Mm hmm Trevor, are you ready to bring this back from the past? All right, Trevor, we gotta make this here pizza dough yes. from Domino's. And like everything Domino's does, we are going to make it purely by hand and from organic scratch. <laughs> Get the heck. We're gonna yeah. dump a bunch of chemicals in it. Cool. So we're gonna try and recreate the actual bread bowl dough completely from scratch, which was very similar to their pan pizza dough, which means it has a ton of this here fake butter flavor in it. Yeah. Which if it's if I can eat it, it's real. There ain't nothing <laughs> fake about that, all right? That is delicious. Uh, I don't understand where the color comes from because that is not the color of butter <laughs> or roughly anything. Do you uh, you know where it comes from? Yeah, yeah. Anato. Sounds sexy. Anato's red though, so I don't know why it's this color. It's very confusing, but we're using that. We got, what is this, soy lecithin in here? Yeah. Just a little bit of binder. We're gonna add things that are commonly found in dough conditioners, which Domino's has in their pizza dough in spades. So we got what, some like little, like, little maltodextrin in there. Yeah, you, you know, know a little tapioca powder. Yeah, it's gonna make it like nice and rigid, but also inexplicably fluffy. Sturdy, and also it's gonna last for years. Yes, correct. This is gonna be the time capsule. Like the aliens are gonna come here yeah. and they're going to find a single mac and cheese bread bowl from Domino's with three cockroaches going on it, and they're just gonna be like, hmm, carbs on carbs, huh? Uh, and then they're gonna just eviscerate us. Uh, so Trevor, yeah. you wanna start dumping things in here? Yeah, I sure do, let's dump. Do you think that aliens have made contact with people and the government's giving from us? Oh, aliens have definitely made contact. Have you seen The Fourth Kind? No. A lovely film, a woman levitates off of a bed in it. Uh, okay. During an encounter with The Fourth Kind, of, no, an encounter of The Fourth Kind, I'm sorry, which is where, I don't know how it works. This is sugar, by the way. I guess we're making Sugar's it gonna help the yeast. Well, you've seen us make dough before, but there's some yeah. fun, there's some other fun things going in here. Um, this is Dump dextrose. In the yeah, yeah, yeah. Dextrose is another form of sugar that's good, but it acts more as a preservative, yeah. I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want me to mix this up a little bit? Yeah, maybe if you want to, you know, you could. I don't watch a lot of alien movies. The one I do really enjoy is called Beer Money with Mark Paul Goslar, where it's like some like uh, bros find an alien and they just like get it drunk and they like yeah. uh, feed it butterflies and stuff. Well, actually, interesting story about the movie that I was talking about, the fourth kind. Go ahead. So, so it's based up in this like middle of nowhere town, Alaska. Like you have to fly in by puddle jumper to get there. It turns out that the guy that wrote the movie and like funded it, he falsified a bunch of documents. Like he literally went to the town's histories, falsified obituaries to make it seem like this was a true story so that he could market his alien movie as a true story. And like the people of the town got really mad at him because they're like, none of that ever happened. And it turns out he just falsified a bunch of documents and lied about everything. It's a terrible movie. It's like really bad, but it's really funny. We watch it every year my house because it's so bad. And then some butter. And now we're just gonna 
It was already up. Yeah. That was my bad. That was my bad. I'm sorry. I got really that's sidetracked. It's no, that's fine. Really I was. Bad. I'm curious about your. Cause you know, I've I've watched the videos of the. You know, you get the, the the Navy pilots. Yeah. I don't know, man. Doesn't add up to me. It would make sense if there were aliens, but my I thing is, I just need to figure out how to survive the alien invasion. So I'm gonna try and like um, really turn on my own kind, yeah. and then just become like a cute little pet for one of them. You know, I'll like dance. I'll do little jigs. I'll like throw little alien coins at me. <laughs> it's kind of just soup right now. We made bread soup, but we want to make bread to put soup in. Oh God, no! I turned it on. Instead, I don't know what to do. I don't. The buttons scare me. I don't know how to do it. All right, so we're just gonna knead this up, mix it until it's like super wet. We're trying to get like a really nice big puffy dough. So this whole bread bowl, it's not like a, a bread bowl that you go to the Marie Calendars, you get the clam chowder in a bread bowl. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's not like that. So it wasn't a big one because it had to still fit in their pizza boxes, which is the funny thing. Yeah, they served everything in these pizza boxes. It's very flat. So it's kind of just like a big puffy pizza with a bunch of like penne on it. Yeah, which a lot of people decried this. I called it a carbohydrate. Come here, you called it a noodle nightmare earlier. Yeah. As like carbs on carbs. Carbs, but like, if you go to New York, there's old school places doing penne alla vodka on a slice. This is essentially just like a deep dish pizza with a couple noodles thrown in. And to me, it was actually really good. And I'm kind of shocked they took it away or took away the specific menu at least. Cause some Domino's, you can still get a bread bowl. I think you can get one at our local Domino's. Yeah, yeah you can, but we're making our own from scratch cause we want to. Yeah, because we're trying to beat Domino's at their own game. We are built different. Like my left nipple is actually where my right nipple should be. We're built differently. Yeah. We're gonna crank it on high. We're gonna let it knead. That's yeah, it. elongate We're all let the it gluten in there. Trevor's got the us? longest glutens in the game. I do have long glutens. They call him long gluten, Trevor. <laughs> Trevor, do you want to do your stunned Miksa character? No, you hated that. I didn't hate it. I just You're, implied that, you know, his family may have had to South no, America no. for certain reasons. No, you said that on camera. I've come I, here like, your stunned Miksa bit sucks, Trevor. I didn't Go say home. that. No, no, I'm very Come up with something better, okay? Because you're not funny and you need to be better. I'm very supportive of Trevor. Hey, Trevor, lube this bowl down to some of that butter flavor. We're, using this, <laughs> we're not using this as lube. We sure too. are, Trevor. Oh, God, this looks like, well... You know, it could look worse. All right, so you're gonna take some of the super wet pizza dough, but it's gonna hydrate as it sits. And then Trevor, get some more uh, butter flavoring on top. Let me just sprinkle a little. It does smell like a movie theater. Let's not. Ugh, reminds me of watching Blue is the Warmest Color in theaters alone. Why? I support art house films. I sat in the very back so no one could see what I was doing. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna cover this up with plastic arena letter rest. Yeah. I'm gonna press it out. Where are you gonna cover this up? You seen that movie, Blue is the Warmest Color? No. <laughs> Woo! Hey, Josh. Yeah, Trevor, what's up? You got any more of that butter sauce? Sheesh. I still don't get it. I All of TikTok makes me so wildly uncomfortable, and all I'm getting served is like 15-year-old girls who are like, nose job recovery check, and I'm like, this is bad for society. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like the... What are they even... What are they, what are they, can you tell me what this means? Why do they do this? Me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's so weird. All of it. Ugh, gross. Can you imagine bringing a child into this world? I right, that down. Well, first, 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 first. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of semolina because they actually have this on Domino's pizza dough uh, and pizza, which to me makes it like really delicious. You get almost that little like crackly sort of crumb on the bottom. Your uh, sauce, sir. You want me to do it or you want to do it? No, 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 no. Well, okay, so what are we going for here? Here, shape wise. Yeah, we're thinking? going for like more like more of a bowl, okay. but not quite a bowl. Cause here's the thing, is like it was more of a slope. It was like a little crater, like a okay, 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 a, a beach volleyball landing in freshly fallen sand. Okay, because we're not we're not trying to go for ball and then cut and hollow. Correct, which is what a normal bread bowl would do. We're trying to shape it almost into a sort of flat bowl or Yeah, so it was unclear if Domino's was actually remember our McStuffins dilemma? Yeah. <laughs> right back at it. Invariably, someone comes into the YouTube comments and they're like, I worked at Domino's for 35 years, and here's exactly how we did it. Uh, that happened with the McStuffins. <laughs> Turns out they weren't cutting and stuffing them. Or no, they were. Dude, I don't remember. I don't remember. That yeah, was we, like seven uh, we make so many <laughs> It was pretty unclear if they were hollowed out like a little bit or not, but they were kind of just shaped into a dome and then baked, just okay. like a very puffy, uh, what is it, a pizza bianco or focaccia di recca, focaccia di recco. Uh, Se piacere. Comprendo. Uh, bellissima. Capisce? That's a <laughs> mafia movies were um, a harmful stereotype to Italian Americans. Okay, so I'm just gonna like kind of press the center out, right? Because we're trying to get a little bit of a Gabagool. crust. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so gabagool. I didn't watch The Sopranos for any of the drama. I solely watched it for watching a man in a bathrobe eat cold cuts out of a fridge. To me, that's what the show is about, <laughs> and that's how I want to live my life. I don't agree with all the crimes, but I do like the fact that he regularly saw a therapist and he ate cold cuts half naked. And that's healthy. So what were you, what? Oh, so you wanna Come press again? this out into like a dome and then we're just gonna try and create like a really thick crust on there. Yeah. And then this is just gonna rise and you're trying to keep kind like a flat like surface. like almost exactly what I'm doing here. Yeah, you're, I should, I should have said keep going. You're doing great, Trevor. Oh, uh, you're yeah. fantastic. I think you've really grown in your role here at Mythical Kitchen. You don't have to give life, me my, I feel uh, like you we, don't have to give me my performance review on camera. It'd be convenient. <laughs> It'd just save time. 
We're gonna take some mozzarella cheese because there was some fun little cheese bits around this. Yeah, so yeah. Some fun little cheese bits. A little crispy cheese bits. A little crispy cheese bits around the edge. It's a pasta bread bowl, just like a Mama Domino used to make. In <laughs> Mama the Domino, that's your character. At some point, I considered taking an actual improv class. So I was like, I think this would actually like help me with my job. So then uh, you don't just start talking about insane conspiracy theories about aliens when you're struggling for things to say. And you can be like, Trevor, hold this beach ball. Oh, it's 10,000 pounds. Oh. You know, you can like learn, you can pay $900 into a pyramid scheme to learn how to do that. Um, and then I didn't do it. Let's put, let's put this in the oven. Yeah, let's go. Trevor, right now we're making their three cheese sauce. The three cheeses were mozzarella, convenient for a pizza place. The worst cheese to add to a mac and cheese does nothing for you. Then they had a yellow cheddar, which they also have for their barbecue chicken pizza. Okay. And they have a white cheddar. The white cheddar okay. mysteriously disappeared from the menu. My theory never existed. I think they lied. I think they were just lying. They lied and said mozzarella was white cheddar. Yeah, I think so. Like, wait, who's gonna check that? You're gonna have the FDA come in with a probe and be like, hmm, that's not white cheddar. I actually, I listened to a podcast about cheese probing recently. Cheese probing. Yeah, it's a real thing. They To test cheeses, they they probe the cheese with the cheese probe, and then they pull out a core. But then sometimes what cheese makers will do, they'll have like a 100 pound barrel of cheese, and they'll stack the top with like the good cheese, and the 80% will be the crap cheese. So they got to go real deep with the probe. Oh, so they got to probe really deep. You got to probe really deep yeah. right to get the cheese. So like uh, no one really knows what this sauce was made out of. Um, but my theory is that it was Alfredo sauce mixed with their cheddar sauce, mixed with their okay. three cheeses. Again, we're so using you, the cheddar sauce. You could say it was a four cheese. Mac, if it had cheddar sauce plus three cheeses. In theory. Because cheddar sauce is like its whole own whole cheese. No, that's you know? cheddar. The cheese in there is no. cheddar. Cheddar is a legally protected class no, of cheese. But like it's a whole new cheese. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. oh geez, like the thing! <laughs> What's going on? I knew that was gonna happen too, and I let it. The pan's just spinning. This is a bad precedent. Uh, milk it, milk it, Trevor, milk it, milk me. Okay, I'm milking. Trevor, you. milk me. Ah. Ah. Thanks. Okay, so we're just gonna add some Alfredo oh. sauce, some milk in there, just to thin it out. Trevor, start ripping open these cheesy jalapenos. Oh god, that was a stressful uh, start to this cheese sauce. There's so much chemicals in Alfredo sauce that it doesn't really like uh, come to a boil or anything. All it does is just separate into like amorphous solid uh, and it plasma. Mellows out. So we're adding some white cheddar to that. That's just um, oh. that's just from the bag. We got. Bag cheese. I got jalapeno uh, cheese. Just, yeah, wing it. I squeezed really it and wing it broke. In Tung out the insides. You guys ever no, do that with the, pet, with the thing of ranch they give you? <laughs> you like, you can't get it all at the pizza, so you kind of just like. No, you do not die. I really do. I um, My favorite thing to do is take a big bite of pizza and then take a sip of ranch from the container. Because then you can trill the ranch like wine and it opens up all the aromas. You get the buttermilk, Stop. you get the peppercorn. Stop. You get, you're like, ooh, is that a little bit of dill? I can't open anymore. Come on, figure it out. Does corn, so do you need butter lube? <laughs> no. That would make the problem worse. You start crushing. Were you just crushing these in here like that? They're like slurpable gogurt. Slurp ones. Sorry, I can <laughs> cheese on it. It's fine, you're fine, you're fine. So we're just gonna wait for all this cheese to melt in here, and then we're gonna toss in approximately nine penne noodles. Because I cannot stress to you enough, this was a bowl of queso that was spilling out in the delivery process. Uh, that said, was still delicious, and we're gonna try and recreate that. This is enough pasta for about 20 bread bowls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have put that in a pizza box. Just the wet pasta in a pizza box. What happened? Stop. That was a, Ace hey, idea. I don't know why this happens to our pans. We should get new pans. I think I will spend like like nine hundred dollars on a fancy fast food episode, and then just be like, eh, we shouldn't buy another twenty dollar pan. <laughs> Wing in some penne. Like wing it? Like Yeah, just really kind of toss it in. Get, yeah, 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 get, get just a couple in there. Yeah, that's probably good, that's probably good. So this is the consistency you want. You want to be able to pull up one bite of pasta every like six spoonfuls. Now let's, let's get... You told me to stop. You goofball. That's way too, what are you doing? Is that too much? That's, uh, okay, that's good, that's good, yeah. Is this good? Yeah, that's nice and soupy. I think it's good, this is very soupy. You want to give us a taste? Yeah, I do. Well. Get it somewhere that doesn't already have cheese yeah. on it. Yeah, oh, that's. Get it on my wrist. It's really good. It's it's somewhere like in between a nacho cheese. It's Ow. A little, oh, it's a little hot. oh! Yeah, it's hot. Oh! Oh, that's tasty. That's nice though, right? That's really good. Really just good. soaking this up with the bread bowl. Yeah, wait, that's gonna be really this good. This is gonna be really nice. Mm. All right, Trevor, you ready to put the ready to bake and assemble this and put some more butter flavoring on it? Yeah! Sorry, I really want to learn how to knife fight. Um, just kind of casually, like for sport, not for <laughs> for vengeance or violence. I'm reading a book right now about, it's called the Luna Trilogy and they all like do knife fighting on the moon. Yeah, and you want to learn, who are you going to knife fight? Who do oh you my God, well, if I was in, in the Luna world, I'd knife fight Robson Corta, heir to the Corta Helio throne. No, uh, so, <laughs> okay. what? No, you, 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 not you. No, do, should we haul this out? That's what I brought the knife for. Should we haul this out? Because right now we got a solid little dome. This is good. This is the bones yeah. of it. This is what the Domino's Red Bulls look like. But I think if we make like a cut here, we can just get more surface area to pour. I want a lot of that soup. Yeah, there. a lot of soup, a lot of soup. I want a lot. Do you want to do the honors? Do you want to kind of circumcise around? No, I want you to circumcise. Okay, okay. That seems like more your speed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of just, you know, it's a, circumcise just means to cut around. It's nothing to do with schmeckles. Oh, it has everything to do with schmeckles. No, but like, yeah, in practice, but like not, you know, the actual word. 
Yeah. It's like the word ejaculate. It's like we're gonna <laughs> ejaculate. That's just a word. It just be, it became synonymous with sex, but it's not inherently like we're gonna ejaculate the, the cheese soup into the bowl. John. That's not dirty. I don't know what to tell people. Like, they're just ignorant. Oh. So we're hauling this out a little oh, wait, bit. Can I have some of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have scratch, can have I? Scratch, well, have can scratch. I dip it in the in the cheese soup? Yeah, of course, of course. Get it in the soup, ready? But like, I don't want to seem like I'm not trying to help. You know, I'm like. No, no, you're help. help. You're helping perfectly. Do okay. Do another uh, bit from like a Central European country. Do you have like a a, a, a Slovak donut fryer bit? Yeah, hit him with that. Okay. <laughs> good, Hold Trevor. Go. Hit him with your Slovakian accent. My name is Jeff. <laughs> My name is Jeff. All right, I'm happy with where this is at. Why'd you leave the middle of your... Well, I don't want to keep clawing it out. I don't have fingernails. I think they're doing this in Domino's. He's got two bare hand employees in there just kind of like fiddling <laughs> yeah. with it. Yeah, just really inefficiently. <laughs> One, One thing it. Domino's is not is inefficient, I will tell you that. Also, they did a great job in their menu redesign, so I'm just gonna pour all the soup in here. Okay, well, you has got some spillage. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, Trevor, beaver it. No, this is how it was, though. It's, it spilled out like crazy all the time. That was the thing with their pasta bread bowls. It's because they insisted on filling it with the soup. Here, I'm gonna take this noodle out. Oh. Honestly, if you want a great two ingredient mac and cheese, take some penne pasta and mix it with like uh, Tostitos queso. So, no, do the cheesy jalapeno dip from Little oh, Caesars. <laughs> get 15 packs of cheesy jalapeno dip like we ordered from Little Caesars yesterday. Yeah. And so now we're just gonna put a little bit of cheese on there. Well, we gotta brush this down with garlic butter eventually too, right? No, garlic sauce, Josh. <laughs> it's not, yeah, they can't legally it's say butter. butter. I, I can't, can't believe, believe it's not butter. <laughs> <laughs> because it's literally, it's, it's not even close. So this is also not butter, but in a different way than the other thing that's not butter. Yeah, yeah, this is, like a, this is like a goo. This is just butter scented goo, and it is delicious. Domino's did a, a really impressive menu redesign in the mid 2000s. Oh and they like God. asked people like what they wanted out of Domino's, and they were like, more flavorful crust. And they're like, do you want us to just brush literally every menu item we have down with our fake garlic butter? And they were like, yeah! Yeah, give me the garlic butter, yeah! It's really good. And now that's why everything at Domino's is covered in this garlic butter, and it is great. I can't wait to eat this. It might not look impressive right now, but after after the cheese gets sweaty for four minutes in a 300 degree oven, it's gonna look just as not impressive. Heck yeah. Trevor, can you smell that? It smells like success. It smells like cheese sweat. That <laughs> Which is also success in our world, yeah. weirdly enough. Uh, let's take it out. This is looking nice and good. Whoa. Again, you don't want the browning. You just want that cheese to start to sweat on there. And then we're going to pack this in a delivery box. Trevor's going to drive around Burbank for the next half hour, and he's going to fly it back in here. No, I'm not. Where are you going to go, Trevor? Are you going to go down to the water treatment plant? You're going to take a tour of Warner Brothers? I'll take it to, go to Costco. To... Oh, yeah. Perhaps get Another... a nice 78 cents large beverage. Good Burbank landmark. Trevor, it's time to cut, cut to the, the packaging. packaging. <laughs> We have brought the, th are you goblin stancing again? No, I'm just ready to eat. You want me to go goblin stance? I'll do yeah, that. do that. So we brought the three cheese mac and cheese bread bowl back from the wild, <laughs> wonderful year of 2009, but there's still, <laughs> there's still one more thing we gotta do to simulate the delivery experience. <laughs> what are you doing? This is in the delivery car. <laughs> All right. Let's eat. Look at that. Oh goodness. That's exactly what we wanted here. It's nice and sweaty. You see there's still, you probe it, you get the liquid covering the fork. <laughs> Oh, That's what you want, cut it in half. Wait, how are we gonna get through this with a plastic fork? <laughs> with mites, actually the cheese sauce has soaked through the crust so much that it's just wet. That, wait, that came apart way too mm. easily. Let's pull it apart and the cheese oh must flow, God. yes! Oh yes, Trevor! God. I wanna eat it! Give me the ranch. I'm getting in. Oh, can you ranch me? I thought you'd never oh, ask. Oh, it's steaming. Mm. How is it? Wait, it on. eats like a soup. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going hands, man. Oh, the crust is, is just disintegrated in there. Hold on. Oh, oh God, that's good. good. Yeah. Oh, it's so hot. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh, it's so hot. Oh. I'm catching your drippings though. Mm. What's happening in your mouth? You're enjoying it, right? Oh, yeah. There's no running from it. Mm -hmm. There's no running from how good this is. Mm -hmm. You can sit there and you can be an elitist and go like, oh, that's carbs and carbs. Mama Domino back in Sardinia never would have made that. No. This is pure Americana. This is what Domino's was founded for. So I gotta ask you the question, do you think I should bring it back? I don't know. You know, it's amazing, but also, mm. you know, some things are better left untouched. This is almost too beautiful of a memory that I'm with you, I want to leave it in the past. Yes. But if you want to bring it back, then tweet at Domino's under hashtag pass food. Let them know your thoughts on it. Tell them that Josh and Trevor sent you and we're wicked smart. We're wicked smart. Go to the Domino's in Gloucester, Massachusetts. Tell them, hey, if you're wicked smart, you'll bring back the three cheese mac and cheese bread bowl. And then yell hashtag pass food. All right, thanks so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes for you every week. We got new episodes of our podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcast. Hit us up on Instagram. This is the dirtiest I've ever been going into an outro. Yeah. With pictures of your mythical dishes and their hashtag dreams of food. See y'all next time. You ready for dessert? 
Yeah, I'm sticky. Yeah, yeah, well, nothing's gonna help with that stickiness like icing. Is there anything to go with the icing? Or are we just mac and cheese bread bowl? No, no, we got the cinnamon twist? Yeah, we got the cinnamon twist, man. We need to have it in the background. This way we can order cinnamon twists. Oh, no, this is a garlic bread. We'll dip in the icing. Wait, get the cinnamon twist. I think they're in the other box. I'm not dipping oh. in the icing. Oh, no, that's bad. Get as messy as you want in your kitchen when you have the Mythical Kitchen Towels. Available now at mythical.com.